A quick video on how to extend the life of your service fittings, especially that, see that green O-ring in there? That gets scraped and pitted and little nicks inside of it by technicians sticking it on a dry, dry coupling. So if you take a look at this surface right there, that flat surface, that is the only part the O-ring sits on is on the outside right here. So when you get a brand new o-ring uh, brand new coupling one thing you're going to want to do is take something like nylog and you're going to want to put it on the inside circumference let's see if i could get it to come out it'd be nice if i opened it up okay i'm not ready for filming i just decided to do this last minute because you see that nick there see that little tiny scratch that will cause a o-ring leak i have to i took this one out of service that's why it's not hooked up to my gauges because i have to replace that o-ring but let's say you didn't have another coupling or that o-ring and that will make a vacuum leak so after you take a vacuum a little bit of air will start leaking into your system through that tiny little scratch in the o-ring so you get nylog and you put it around the inner circumference a subscriber asked me this question and so I'm gonna demonstrate you got a brand new system a brand, I mean a brand new coupling now you leave that there and you can see that it's really slowly moving the hotter this is on a hot day the nylog will ooze down faster and about every six vehicles or so you come out here to the outer circumference and let's see if I could zoom in there. And you just put a small amount around the outer circumference because this is where your O-ring slides. And that is where you're gonna lose your vacuum. And if you're trying to do a vacuum leak decay test, you can fail because of your O-ring. So let's see if we could look down here now. You can see over here it's starting where are we at right there it's just starting to hit the o-ring so if this was like an 80 or 90 degree day that would have already coated the o-ring down there so you would have a coated o-ring with the nylog and you would have that coated and you clean it off first you wipe your fingers or a towel around to make sure it's clean and then when you slip your o-ring over that surface not only is it lubricated vacuum cannot pull through this product this prevents vacuum leaks not pressure leaks vacuum leaks so that's all for now i just uh, did this because a subscriber asked a question and so i'm answering his question in a video